like every group is going to be very, very tough. Well, we're not going to hang about too long for this one. We are jumping straight into the game here. As we said, this is day one of the tournament. This is the play-ins. In which we will find our final four players that will be booking a spot through to tomorrow's final 32. And I mean, it's been a stressful day, Ryan, for these players as well, haven't they? They've been playing a, a day early. There was 20 in total that came through 20 different FC Pro partnered leagues. And for some, I mean, for for eight players, they're already eliminated. Yeah, exactly. But of course, all the players, or most of the players in here anyway, are domestic champions. They've won their respective leagues this season. And they've been given a, in my opinion, Levy, you maybe you can talk more on this. It's a great opportunity to make the FC Pro World Championship. There's a there's a big likelihood there's what eight spots available between the 19 players that, that played today. So there's a good chance if you perform your best on the on your day then you can make it into tomorrow i think for these two players maybe like a once in a lifetime it's it's by far the closest they have been so far i think and yeah it's just one game as you said uh, i've played these guys both for friendlies i know they are just really good but they also maybe know themselves if, if the format was a bit different maybe they wouldn't be in this one deciding match but they're here now so they deserve it as the guys were saying as well on the build up to this one there is some history involved potentially in it as well because charity up has been to the playoffs three times to four, which is basically sort of the ticket mark into getting to the World Championships. Uh, and unfortunately, he's fallen in those moments, Ryan, but when you're this close, you're one game away, one game of FC24 away from making it to the big stage, the final 32. And as FG was saying, it would be the first Indian player to represent his country at a World Cup. Yeah, exactly. It would be a huge honour for him as he builds up his attack here again. Let's see if he can find a way through. Yes. The ISL champion who gets his first shot of the game registered. They look locked in, to be honest. Like They look focused, not scared to play. They just go forward pretty quick, a lot of player locks. Sweden with a good L1 triangle, Davies. This is always tough to defend. Let's see if he can find a way through. Jay Slater. Mm. Just too much power. Off the mark there. I'm watching the teams and I don't really see really interesting choices. Maybe uh, Paul Palmer, though. Yeah, Gerard? Would you play Gerard in midfield? I didn't, but I know, for example, Manu loved him. I don't think he put him into his draft, but he was an option for him. So I don't really surprised to see Gerard, but Paul Palmer for me is a surprise, though. And no Rutgillet on Slater's side. It's also a big surprise, if you ask me. If you had to give your, your three players who would, you would say anyway, that are must to select in the squad, who would they be? First one is R9. Then you have either Weghorst or Haaland, one of the two. Yeah. And for me also, uh, Van Dijk. Okay. Van Dijk's insane, I, I would say. He doesn't have the aerial plus, but on the ground, he's by far the best. And was you happy when you had the, the, the decision come through that it was basically no drafting? For, for this World Championship, so would you have minded the draft, or were you happy just to be able to use any player in the game? Uh, I think it's just better in general, because um, the team would be like really good anyway, only the subs would maybe be worse, and I think we just love to have all the players available, you see different choices, like just personal preferences with uh, no restrictions, so I think it's fine. For me, it wouldn't be a problem if there were restrictions, but like this, it's perfect. At the moment, Challenger has been knocking the door quite a few times for JP Slater. The rest of the game, Ronaldinho, uh, the fans' favourite in these teams, who will continue to be a danger across the next four days here in Berlin. Pull it. Believe it or not, playing it as a right back, not in his normal central midfield position. Still is available there on the overlap. And just offside. Well, I'm sure we'll speak about it as the, the match well. unfolds as well. As Harlan to get around to it there. Second time of asking, goes for a power shot, Switching which was... For a corner, this smart. ...was uncanny, but as Levy says, it's a smart way to win a corner of how good the aerial plus is for this from distance, that one time green from Cole Palmer. It's not afraid to take a shot. Genuinely, any time yeah. he gets around the area, he's, he's so shoot. direct, also with like a payload, I want triangle pass, it's even from his own half. Yeah. Slater is just going for it. Searching for corners, which are so, so dangerous. A few times as well when you get in those areas, Ryan, where if you just go for a power shot, you time something green, you're not going to score, but you're going to get a corner. Yep, and this is it again, whipped in. Quick corner played in all the way through, he has timed it green, oh, but the connection's no. been terrible, he's got another corner. That's the Irish FC Pro player, that one quickly played in, the idea is to get into Haaland. 
And at the moment, any pressure that's gone their way, Canate has just done enough to stop Harlan making a danger. Can he stop him now again? Another corner. At some point, he has to go in. Quick front post, flick on! Oh, good save. Well, what are we on, corner six? 25 minutes in, still. He also can't clear it. Can't deal with this danger that's coming his way from the UCD Dublin man, Trevella oh, Green! Oh, no. Well, that's a decent way to start the match! Oh, that's the reward for getting, like, five or six shots off, I would say. Insane. Yeah. Trifella. It's also, again, a shot to get a corner, because it just flies in. Yeah, because Trifella is off. Yeah, Trifella's nowadays, like, they're not consistent. The chance is going in is maybe, like, 20 to 30 percent, but he knows he gets a corner for sure. Okay, he has a good st strategy, I would say. It works as of yet. So annoying to play against, though. It's probably a silly question. You've been playing a lot of practice games in the last 24 hours since you beat it, Levy. Can anyone stop anyone in the box from corners, or are we just flipping a coin every single time? Mm, I would say there's a difference. Some people are better at taking them, and some people are better at defending them. But sometimes you just can't do anything against it, because you get switched off from the players sometimes. Chadonot with a good attack, goes straight from kickoff. That's a good response. That's a really good response. Well, it's an instant reply from Charanjot. Who makes it 1-1 one, one on square. It's a great build-up play as well. Look for the spaces. Chose the right passes. on Ronaldo, of course. That's why you said he was one of your marquee players that most players should have in their team. There's actually one player in the play-ins, actually, that doesn't have Wow. Charles Kenny Dalglish instead. Ah, uh, Kosu. I, yeah. played him, uh, yeah. I played him in friendlies. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. No R9, but I'm not going to lie, the Dalglish worked for him when I played him. He yeah. Really good. Let us know in the Twitch chat as well if you've got any questions for Levy, what it takes to, to improve your game, the mental side of the game as well. Obviously, one of the best players in the FC scene. That point. Making a couple of player locks. Charanyot every time looking for the cutback. Well, Sleater is playing like one under depth, something I already noticed. So when you pass the ball back then, his defense is stepping up yeah. every single time. Makes it so hard sometimes to be able to create chances. I think if he goes one or two times just direct, just for the sideline, then the byline, it will work. But this way... Yeah, great chance mm. to break away. Papo will continue his run. Holland's quite wide, but at least he's going to try and win a... A corner there, if it wasn't for Hullet. It's about, what, six touches from the goalkeeper's hand from the throw. He's so First time over the top, he's just transitioning just instantly. A chance to break away again as Arno got the pace on him. Good defence. Well, that ball again. Not going to keep it in, though. We saw JP say it, obviously, earlier on this season, Brandon, at the, the E-Champions League. Not to be, I remember his game against Tex. It just came a bit too late, didn't it, for him there? Yeah. Uh, he came out and he said, sort of on social media as well, that it was his first time playing at a land of that size, and he, and he gave his opposition a bit too much respect. And I think by the end of it, he, of course, he was involved in the tech situation there with the Champions League when he fell out early in the competition. And I think, if anything, he took that as a great experience from him. As we said, he won the League of Ireland. And that was the way he got to both the Champions League and to the play-ins. And if he oh, can win this game here, he'll be on his way to a World Cup. Saved and powered away. Quick corner comes in, that one managed well by Schmeichel. Good goalkeeper movement. Chodernot noticed that like five, six corners before it was just taken quickly. Yeah. They're curling in. Next corner's gonna be a mind game though, because now he has moved it. Is Sleater gonna cross it again or is he gonna take his time? Dino dropping a little bit deeper there. This game is end to end though. Finesse again. Yes. Surely not from Hullet. Great goalkeeper movement. What is it about goalkeeper movement there for you? Is it just picking the side? Do you move the keeper back as well, or is it just. Mm, yeah, I don't want to give too many away, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's. Yeah, you know the finesse is coming, so yeah. you, don't, you just need to move it like, to the far post nine out of ten times. Although. Uh, now, that's all the way from left back. Green time to finish. I mean, that's how you use your fullbacks, Ryan Pessoa. 
started to come into this game a lot more challenger as this game has progressed. At the start, I felt as if JP Setter was destined to, to get one or maybe two before challenger even got a response in this game. I think what helped him is that quick response. That 1-1 one, one there, just to ease his nerves a little bit, and it's a great finish there from Habatsu. 94, huh? Yeah, I'm surprised there. Maybe instead of using the other, maybe chemistry reasons. Yeah, I know Mark Levin uh, lost the 94 as well. He uses him above the, I think the 97, it is, huh? Yeah. Just because of the play styles, which are so, so important in FC 24, of do, course. Do you value play styles more than stats? That's... Say? We had a discussion with like the team killer guys as well, and some play styles it does because I think a player you rather have a player with like pink pass and 90 passing than 99 passing, for example, without the play style. Yeah, without yeah, the play I style. Agree. Yeah, it's on time. Oh, it's time with just off. one minute, oh, and that will do us for the half time interval here. And we are all square as it currently stands. It was an instant reply from Sharon John, but the halfway point is 1 1 in this qualification game. For the FC Pro World Championship. Someone else who had a closer on the action was our very own Richard Barkley. Rich, what did you make of the first half? Yeah, it's, it's what I expected. It's quite tight, it's quite cagey, and I want to look at the equalising goal. We're going to pull it up here from Charon Jot, and it's the work down the byline. Let's roll this on. It's Havertz, and what he's looking for just always when you get down the byline is that driven pass inside, that R1X into these spaces, and he gets it. Just pulls a clip right there as he gets the ball in with Ronaldinho. It's a driven pass straight in. To Ronaldinho's feet and as soon as this ball is in this area he's got options he's got R9 he's got Mbappe and really what I want to highlight for you is the defensive gamble you've got to take you've got your two center backs right there do you close the ball down do you come into this area do you try and spin and look for this area to mark instead and unfortunately for JP Slater we can roll this clip on he just gambles wrong he comes towards Ronaldinho we can see it play out and it's the equalising goal for Charon Jot into R9. It goes to tackle. It's a great finish. It's green time from Charon Jot. And when you start to see how this game is unfolding, it's the long shots, it's the corners for JP Slater. For Charon Jot, he's looking to fire it in. What will come out on top? Back to you guys. Thank you very much, Richard. Great to hear there as well on what you made of the first 45 minutes. As we said, it's all square and all the games you are seeing on day one here from Berlin are qualification games. We've got 28 players that are already into the World Championships. We need to find four more today. We have got Levy De Vere, who is playing in action tomorrow. We've got a few questions for him as well from you at home as well. We can see the chat. We'll float them up as we kick off our second half of action here. And we'll kick it off with probably quite a simple one from uh, our good friend DJ Alex. Coming in, best formation that you like using? It is boring to say, but it is 4 3 2 one. I think 99% of the pros are playing it, apart from maybe Johnny and a few. It is just the best formation this year, not a doubt. This chance comes from Charon Jock first, to finds a shot block there. The player you look forward to using the most in this tournament, as we said, there is no sort of draft restrictions on the, the players at this FC Pro World Championship. They can use any player in the game up to today's day who is the number one player on the list. Yeah, R9 for me. He is the first on the team sheet, so I have to name him, I guess. The five-star, five-star. He's just always in my team. I never skip R9, basically, and now he maybe has the best card he has ever had in any edition of the game. So, Does it surprise you that how many years on we are now in... He has Sports FC and he's still one of the best icons in the game. It just feels like no matter what icons come in, what, no matter what promos come in, he is just always levels above the rest still. Yeah, he just has it. Even the 95, like a few weeks ago, before like the 98 was out, a good chance for Jeep, a good oh, cross, sure, let's go. This is hard, You can see it coming. All square again at 2-2. He said the words, Levy, you can see it coming. At what point here is it obvious that we're all going for a bad post-cross? Yeah. It's just open. Also, he plays Gullit, who doesn't have the aerial plus. A lot of players play like a fullback, like Stones, Militao, Fosselu. You know, Gullit's not going to win it like 99 out of 100 times against Haaland, unfortunately. A good goal, in my opinion. Like, you need to reach the byline there, because if you give it too early, he still has a chance. Now there's no chance for the goalkeeper and for Gullit. Well, we can't ask much more right in our first game here from Berlin. Ooh. What would you say, Levy, to stop that in that situation? What do you think? Is it goalkeeper movement, maybe to the back post to gamble? You have to try and go for a double triangle. But, like, this was the first time he did a cross, so he probably didn't expect he was going to yeah. move it. And he can shoot or a power stop. But now we just have to do, like, double triangle. But 
Sometimes she was just focused on defending as well, so you don't really think about the double triangle in these situations. But yeah, the ideal situation, you would have performed the double triangle goalkeeper movement and catched it with Smigel. Conte Davies dispossessed there, that's his Copper America. He gave by to Martin a decent run into the semi finals in that competition. Mbappe somehow gets that one around the corner of Kai Havert, somehow. So Dan... Space now. His pass is deflected by his own player. And this could be a chance to break away now for Challenger. For a potential counter-attack. Step over is a nice for Ronaldinho, that custom animation that he always seems to have, and... Just got a bit too confident, maybe, there, Ryan. Yeah, I felt as if maybe he was thinking the cut inside for the finesse is very obvious. Obviously, the playstyle plus finesse yeah. shot, we know. The goalkeeper movement would have come into, into play there for... JP State. So, what do you think about Ronaldinho in this game? I'm He's really good. I I'm surprised to not see him in that. We, we looked through some of the drafts um, behind the scenes of a lot of the players, and not too many players have him in. I'm surprised at that. I think it's also because we are like used to having like Haaland, R9, and Mbappe. Yeah. And then it's either like in the 4 3 2 1, are you going to play three midfielders? Then obviously Ronaldinho is out. Are you going to play uh, four attackers and two midfielders? Then he is there for the left centimeter or right centimeter position. But it's just the debate you need to have with yourself. And you also have people um, playing um, CR7 or yeah. Haaland and Weghorst even. So wow. then there's no place no place for um, Ronaldinho, unfortunately. I think it was about two years ago that well Weghorst popped up during the World Championships and he's back again. Um, you know, as a, a fellow Dutchman, is it is it nice to see him in or is it is it bad memories? In a kind of way, we have Haaland already, so Weghorst is also all right. Um, I don't know what he does to earn these cards because for the Netherlands he's been insane in the Euros so far. I hope we beat England tonight. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> I hope we beat England tonight and he scores. But he is not as good in real life as the cards you get because the cards from him in the game are insane. Obviously because he's like six foot seven, I think. Aerial plus, just undefendable. Let's just see his attack coming first before we come in from that question. Ronaldinho, we were That's speaking hard. about what is in the team. Maybe he's a bit of a gamble, but if he is to be the player that's done enough to send him into the World Championships, it would certainly be worth that gamble. Challenge on 3 to 1. We'll go back to that question as well. We, when a message coming from Nick, who said, how do you defend those big switches of play? Um, I think you just have to accept them and like make sure you track back with your attackers and midfielders, so don't um, get too many players out of position. Just throw back a bit because if you're going to try to press nine out of ten times you're going to lose it and your players out of position and then you get exactly the situation uh, Richard showed in half time where you need to make a choice and that's not what you want those questions coming in of course we have Levy Devere here of Team Hullet Charing has done really well actually tomorrow. To, to track those runs in behind you notice that JP set lacks those first time or those L1 triangles over the top Come in here from Slater. A lot of quick passes going around. I think he's feeling very confident now. Got to keep a bit of the control in this game now. When I say that, he's losing the ball, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so look at the run there from Davies. He has to try and watch the player in possession. Does really well here. Harlan could have, could have been in behind. He was on his way there, wasn't he? But Charitra didn't go for that pass. Dispossessed by Zidane, I'm not sure where that pause will come in for Pepe Slater, but in the meantime, we'll have a chance to break away here. Has he got the next cop part? It's a brave tackle from Canato. Dispossessed again, they're on the half turn. Cuts it back into our nine. Finesse! One mistake, and you will be punished at this level. Yeah, it's undefendable, even with both of the movement the finesse. He has the finesse plus, green timed, you can't do anything about it. Yeah, it's a mistake, tries to switch the play, trying to twist and turn in possession with Postolu, not someone that's the most nimble, and then obviously the, the decisiveness, decisiveness from JP Setter. We know with the finesse shots with R9 in game, as Levy said, you can move the goalkeeper all you want, but if you green time it from that close to the goal, you're always going to find the back of the net. Well, it's one thing getting the chance, Ryan, isn't it? But then still... Just remaining composed as ever to ensure you time those shots, Green. That is always the big difference that we say about these players at this level. And not overplaying it as well. He had another player that was sort of running in support. He could have slowed it down, try and play an extra pass, but he knew what he wanted to do. 
certainly hasn't disappointed, has it? Our first qualification game here. Remember, this is day one. We've had our planes today here at the FC Pro World Championships in Berlin. Tomorrow, we will kick off the group stages with 32 players battling out as part of that $1 million prize pool. And on Saturday, one player will pick up $250,000. Are you even thinking about the money at this point? Another mistake. Oh, God. Cuts it back, he's on, on again. Nah, go back to the first side. I never do, to be honest, in the first one. Good corner comes in, Canato. I don't think anyone does, because you will not play better if you think about the money. It can only be a disadvantage. I was speaking to a few pros yesterday, I mean, including Oberon, who's here as a coach, he said, yeah, as soon as you start thinking about the money first, your career's coming to an end. Yeah, it only, yeah. Obrun uh, has spoken then because exactly how I think about it. You've got to get there on Saturday first as well. It's going to be a difficult few days. Only half the players will make it through tomorrow into that top 16. And we're building and building from there. Oh no, and fine top. 10 oh no! Mm. To red time, sure, a tackle. I'm not sure it was. Challenge or won't what care. What happened there? It deserved the goal, though. Yeah, the attack was, it was really, really good. It's definitely going to be a goal-scored opportunity, but we'll see it get on the replay. I want to see what happens. Does he mistime it? He does. Wow. Yeah. He doesn't seem happy. He's just gone 4-3 up. Even red time, in my opinion, still has to go in. If I be honest. <laughs> Brian, the, 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 go chance, in? the chance he created... The chance I, he created is great. I think the animation from R9 just took long, and that's yeah, why yeah, he timed yeah, yeah. it red, I think. It did. I don't think he like spammed the button or yeah. was really too early because the animation looked really weird. That's why he was able to tackle him still. Could also be a pen and a red card if Sleater was really unlucky. Are we going to see an extra time here? I'm feeling one, I think. It would be a, uh, a bad way to start our first match up here in Berlin. Last couple of changes being made there from JP Slater. Let's jump back into the game now. Be Northeast United and Charanjot heading into the final 32 tomorrow as part of this year's World Championships. He's got 15 in game minutes. Pedri coming on, also an interesting choice. Now we're going to see an instant reply. There's never been more than one goal between the two. I score, you score, quite literally. Of Pedri does get his first touch, it didn't last too long as he was crowded there. A handful of players, well, wow, Wayne welcome. He's just come onto the pitch now, that 99 physicality that will be impactful as ever. There's an offside call, yeah. it's a free Great kick mistake. that's wasted. Well, that oh. touch isn't pretty, is it? You can feel the nerves, you can see the nerves. For one person, it's the start of what could be a really exciting three days, and for the other, it's the end of your season at the worst possible point. Oh, that's great. He can conclude it now if he can get through. Has he got the legs on around the French defender? The angle's tight. That's with a corner. Taking quite a long on it, flicked it Ooh. on, it goes all the way wow. through. Thankfully, Harland is back there. For a split second there, Ryan, Schmack was beaten. But what's this all record's move in front of the keeper? But it's game over, it's done, it's done. Yep. It's fortunate. Ball over the top wow. again. He's going to get there. He's going to get round the defender. I'll be on for a 4-4. Four -four. Quick play, switch, oh, it's beautiful. Come on! Let's go, Cold That's as good. ever. It's a great player up there, into Paul Palm, as we said. He questioned the choice of him, he's actually come up flash there for JP Sitter late on in this game. Yeah, actually, the, the card is really good, but you just don't see him often with yeah. all the cards just being released. He obviously has good play styles, but uh, the finesse power shot, the dead ball also, I think, but everyone almost played with pros, so the dead ball is yeah. basically useless. Yeah, he's just a really good card, but there are better options, in my opinion. He wouldn't be near your team, then. 
A little spoiler, he's not in my team. <laughs> Is there any interesting players that are on your bench at least tomorrow? Anyone? I don't think so. I think uh, I'm always quite boring when it comes to like teams, just like regular most oh, prizes nice. and all. Speaking of Pedri, <laughs> was on the verge of that night. That could have been a terrible ending. Last three and a half in game minutes. When it goes into the FC Pro World Championships tomorrow. Bellingham, De Bruyne, this is where you need to step up. It's one. Is this the start? The first bit of history being made in Berlin. Challenger Murphy on his way to his first ever World Championships representing India. The celebration, I like it. <laughs> What do you think about the shot choice there towards the near post? Obviously, our man, you, you normally think there'd be a finesse with the play style. I, I wonder actually if there was any goalkeeper movement thinking for the finesse. I, I'm not I sure. I also couldn't really see if yeah. it was green time for not. No, it was. If it, it was yeah, green okay, time, yeah. then it can go in. Yeah. But if there was goalkeeper movement, then insane choice. Yeah. If there wasn't, maybe a bit of luck on his side, though. Can he pull this back one more time? He's been in this oh, position so no. many times. That's so horrible. Oh, so no. Time. Oh, oh no! God. Can he find a cutback? Haaland always so reliable in the air, Hosselu. That's Subbed the difference on. between Khalid and Koselu, I would say. The aerial plus base star. And in time of three minutes, it's not friendly in nine and a half, so it's a long three minutes. Oh. Gets possession too! Two in game minutes away from the World Championships, tomorrow is challenger. Whereas JP Slater got one more trick up his sleeve. Look at him, out of blue shirts oh, going forwards. Wow. One and a half in game minutes, just hang on to the ball. That's all he's got to do. Gets dispossessed oh, again, not yeah. come back for a free kick. It should be GG's. Go back to the goalkeeper. It should be over the line for the first time in FC history. There will be an Indian representative of the World Championships. Challenger will be there tomorrow as part of the best 32 players in the world. And he said it so many times, Ryan. Three times before he's been to the playoffs where you are one or two games away from the World Championship. But this year, he's got over the line. Yep, he really has. Congratulations to him and, of course, commiserations to JP Slater. End to end game. As you said, it weren't a, a two-goal gap between them at any moment in that game, and it's, it's devastating to lose this close to the FC Pro World Championships. But Taran Jock, of course, he's yet to be seen what group he gets pulled into, but it's going to be a tough, tough ask for him tomorrow. But he'll be on, the, on top of the world right now qualifying.